Today we're going to be working on slide number seven. In slide number seven, we're going to be creating a timeline for your famous person. A timeline is a graphic representation of the important events of your famous person. Typically, a timeline is a straight line, but it doesn't always have to be. The example that Alexandria did for us, we can go down to her section on timeline slide number seven. In her timeline, you'll see a straight line down the middle, and each point off the line represents an accomplishment. So there's a text box and a point off of the line. The only thing else that is important to include is a date. It doesn't look like Alexandria included dates when she did hers. She has important events, but not dates. So we need to know when it happened and what happened. To our presentation, our slideshow, we're gonna go down to the bottom and we know we can, we can see slide number six. We wanna add another slide after number six. So now we have seven. I'm going to title this Timeline. I'm going to put it in the center of the box, around the box, and I'm going to format it into a color. Like I said before, this is all up to you. You can use whatever colors and styles you like when you're formatting. It's all based on your creativity. These text boxes that we have here, we don't need, so I'm going to delete them. Just make sure it's highlighted and then delete. What we are gonna need is we're gonna need a line for our timeline. So we're gonna use this line tool. If you click on this line tool, there's a lot of different line tool options, okay? The easiest for us to use to create this is going to be just a straight line. So you might choose to use a different kind of line if you have a lot of events to include. Okay, I'm going to use a straight line to begin. And I want my line to be a little thicker. That's too thin for me. So I'm going to come to this weight tool and I'm going to make it a little thicker. And you can also change the color of the line if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and stick with black. Okay. Now we're going to need to add a little line going the other direction. So I'm going to choose the line tool again. And I'm going to draw it from the end, just up about there. And I still want it to be the same weight of the line. And now I'm going to add my text box. So I'm going to add my little text box here. That is way bigger than I would like, but let's see. There we go. Okay, there's the text box size I want. So this is the very first event that happened in your person's life. So the very first event that happens in your person's life is probably their birth, okay? I'm gonna put birth here, but remember, you need to put what year they were born. So they were born and then put their birthday. When were they born? Um, if we go back to our slide, we should already know. Oh, look, he was born February 27, 22nd, 1732. I'm going to actually save myself a little bit of time and I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to use my two fingers to copy it. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says timeline again. Click on my text box and I'm going to put it right in there by pasting it in there. And I'll just move this box a little bit smaller. Now, that's the first thing. Oh, I mean, there's the date, but I also need to know what happened, right? He was born. And again, you get to control the text color, the text font, all those things. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that it'll fit in the box better because we do have a lot of things to fit on here. Depending on what your person did in their life, they might have more accomplishments. Usually in a timeline, the most important things they did are on a timeline, okay? I also want to make sure that my text box has a border color on it, okay? 
So I'm gonna highlight the text box again. I'm gonna have the border color be yellow. Whatever color you want, it's up to you. And I'll make it a little thicker. Maybe not, I think I'm gonna go with gray. I'm gonna go with gray this time. Okay, so there's the first one. Now I need to create the same thing for every point in their life. I know one thing that happened, of course we know they were born, and I need another one for when they died. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this by doing my two finger flip, and flip copy, and then I'll do a paste with a two finger flip and a paste. So you can see there are two here now. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to drag it to the end of the line because I know that they died on this date, right? I'll take out this text and I'll put died and you can put in the date there. I'm also going to copy this little line here that I created. Another line. I'm gonna make, grab this little line tool. And I'm gonna draw a line from the end of our timeline to this box. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So those are two events on their timeline, but we came up with more accomplishments for this person, so we also need to have more boxes, okay? So these events need to be in order. The first thing that happened in their life, all the way to the very last thing that happened in their life. Because we chose people that have already passed away, we should have, a, the first event should be when they were born, and the last event should be when they died. But there should be more events in the center. What are the major things your person was famous for? Well, we know that the person I'm doing, George Washington, we know that he became president, right? So maybe I can say became president. Well, when did he become president? I need to add that date in there. You can go back to your slides to see what when he became president. If you did the accomplishment slides already, you'll have that in there. We need another one that says other things he did and other things that were important to his life. The events can be on the top of the line and they can also be on the bottom of the line. You just have to make sure that the points on the line they come to are some on the top. Make sure they're in chronological order or sequence, right? What happened first, next, and last. Draw a point down to that line and then a point down to the other line. You're always connecting to that center timeline and each item that you include needs to have what happened and when it happened. That's all for slide number seven.